So this week we're in Rovi. Now this sunny city really wowed us with its colorful buildings, charming squares, beautiful nature, and some very fun boat excursions. So in this video, we're going to show you 15 things to do in Roviv, Croatia. And be sure to stay to the end to see our most comfortable accommodations yet and just how much it costs all in this episode of Lucas World Travel. After exploring Zagreb and Rijeka, we're continuing our Croatia series in Rovi. From Rijeka, we took a bus about three hours west to this beautiful seaside town that wound up being one of our favorites in Croatia. Let's show you why. We started our trip as we usually do with a free walking tour. The Rovive Tourism Board gives an excellent free walking tour every Tuesday that gives you all the history of the city and helps you get oriented. This informative tour also includes live music and refreshments at the end. And the best part is that the tour is truly free. So if you're interested in checking out this free tour, the link is in the description box below. Next stop is the main square. This square connects Old Town on the left with the newer parts of the city on the right. It also has a beautiful fountain with the statue of the boy and the trout and a clock tower that was built in the 17th century and used to double as a jail. To the left of the main square is Balbi Arch, which used to be the original entrance to the city. Once you walk under this arch, you're in the old town and should enjoy wandering all the old colorful roads. We love getting surprised by all the beautiful arches and the beautifully painted doors along the way. And if you're liking this video so far, please be sure to like and subscribe. Next stop is the crown jewel of Rovive, the Church of St. Euphemia. This church was named after St. Euphemia because her sarcophagus mysteriously washed up on Rovive's shores in the 10th century. You can still see her sarcophagus in the back of the church today. We also recommend paying the 20 kuna to climb the clock tower to get amazing views of the city. Oh, so this feels really old and really ancient in here. These stairs are really narrow. You can only step on them with the ball of your foot. I'm gonna wanna take these stairs really slowly. And after a easy 190 stairs, you get this great view. The trip down's a little bit treacherous because you have to step sideways like this and you can see complete air in between your feet footsteps. So you have to take these stairs very slowly, very carefully. Once you leave the church, walk down Grecia Street to see all the cute artisan shops. You can do some window shopping or pick up a souvenir or two as you make your way back to the main square. It's also nice to check out the monument for fallen soldiers, behind of which is another great seaside view of Rovive. So if you can believe it, this peninsula was once an island 
But in 1760, they filled in the canal that separated this little old town island with the mainland. So now it is all connected as part of mainland Croatia. So this street right here used to be a canal filled with water. And this square right here used to have a bridge that connected Old Town Ruviv to the mainland of Croatia. They still call this square Bridge Square, even though the bridge doesn't exist anymore. Old habits die hard. So now we're at Mestral Restaurant, which is highly recommended on Google and has one of the best views in Roviv. I got the truffle ravioli. This is banging. It's really good. I like salty foods. So this is good and salty. And it has a really intense truffle flavor. It's not just a little truffly, it's a lot. I dig it. So for you who don't know, I'm technically pescatarian. Not really vegetarian. But I often eat vegetarian dishes when I go to restaurants. Um, because I only want to eat fish when, when I don't have any other options. So this is a vegetarian pizza, which I find that in places like this, there are pizzas pretty much everywhere on the street or in restaurants. Pretty much delicious all the way around. So I don't ever have to really worry about it. When I, when I pick a pizza, I know I'm gonna get some good food. So there we go. From the port, we also highly recommend signing up for one of the many boat excursions they have available. So I'm excited to say we're taking a boat tour and going to see Red Island, Limford, and just to enjoy some beach time. Let's see what these beautiful Croatian islands are like. Seeing Rovi from the water is simply stunning and we highly recommend it. So our first stop is the Red Island. Our goal is to hike around the island, take a look around, maybe swim a little bit. Let's see what happens. We don't know ourselves. <laughs> so now we're just walking along the nature trail and it's quite pretty because it's seaside and you have great views of the water. Now in the past, I would be nervous about this whole walking around somewhere without an itinerary, without a plan of the things I want to see and do. And now, it's just another everyday occurrence. So what travel is teaching me is to just go with things. You gotta roll with the punches and just enjoy it any way you can, even if you don't know what's going on, which is a lot of the time. Even though we didn't have a clear idea of what to do on Red Island, one thing's for sure though, Red Island is definitely not ugly. So Red Island has two sides to explore. Uh, the mainland with Hotel Istra, and then this small little island off to the side as well. So I think we're gonna set up shop right in between the two, because there's this one little sandy, beautiful, clear piece of beach. And this looks like home to me. All right, let's go see how cold this is together now. Uh -huh. It is pretty chilly. The water in Rijeka was colder for sure. Okay. Woo. Yeah. Still pretty cold. <laughs> okay, Kendra's gonna take the plunge here. So far, so good. Ah, yeah, I saw a bunch of them. Cold? Not anymore. So I'm learning to just go ahead and dive in and get the pain of the cold water over with. 
you get over it pretty quickly within five seconds. So I wanted to show you guys these little jellyfish things that live in the water here in the Adriatic. Oh, here's one. So this right here, I don't know what this is called, but it's perfectly safe. It looks like a jellyfish or a little plastic balloon. Oh, there's like a few of them. Really quite plentiful here and they're perfectly harmless. So don't be afraid of these little thingies. So on these pebbly beaches in Croatia and Slovenia, water shoes are recommended. It'll make your swimming much more comfortable. Or you can be uncomfortable and look like Frankenstein like David. <laughs> Here we go. So the water was indeed very refreshing once you get used to it. But there were hundreds, if not thousands, of those jellyfish thingies in the water. So it made it so weird when you're like doing your brush stroke and you like touching the little jellyfish while you're swimming. And one of them even flew right into my face. So that was not a very enjoyable part of the swim. But I love new experiences. So it was great for me. They were just checking her out. <laughs> no, they were like, we live here. What are you doing in our house? That's what they were saying. <laughs> we named them jellyfish thingies. So we don't know what they're called. Yeah, we'll figure out what those things are called and put them in a little description box or something on the screen down there. <laughs> After our refreshing dip, we hopped back on the boat to head to Limford. Little did we know we were going to see a lot more than we bargained for. As we've been taking this boat cruise, we've been finding a lot of secluded beaches, a lot of nude beaches, and people who like to drive their boats naked. Now that's a new type of freedom for us. <laughs> but that is freedom for sure. There's no judgment here. <laughs> Drive your, drive your yacht with no clothes on. It's okay with me. <laughs> so we didn't even know that that was a goal, but I think that's a goal for us. <laughs> go. <laughs> Just go naked. You be allergic to clothes. <laughs> so first we gotta get a boat, and then we gotta <laughs> get a boat. Right? <laughs> and then. Get a boat. We gotta drive our boat naked. These are the things we didn't even know we wanted to do, but here we are. <laughs> so this part reminds me of the Yangtze River cruise we took in China, but this part reminds David of Karabi, right? I think Alpulan. stop of the tour was the pirate cave so it's seven kuna to get into the pirate cave that's only about a dollar so why not so this is the pirate cave we don't really know anything about it though because we've had three glasses of wine and I mean what's there to know it's just a cave let's go there's nothing to see, but they got bang and salsa music playing outside, so we're gonna go dance instead. So the lesson of this experience is when they play in your jam, just dance and it'll always be worth the seven kuna cover. <laughs> So that was a really fun boat tour. Anything that serves me food and lets me day drink, my type of place. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But this was not the end of our salsa dancing fun. We also found salsa at La Concha Mexican restaurant. They have salsa dance every Wednesday and Sunday, starting at nine. It was so nice to get some dancing in in this beautiful open air restaurant. So we highly recommend you check out the nightlife in Rovive as well.
today we're going on a nature hike um, to look at all the different beaches here in Rovive and to just enjoy being out by the trees in nature and soaking up some nice views. Our first stop was Mulini Beach, which has these really nice but somewhat expensive loungers for rent, as well as paddle boards. Naturally, you can also bring your own towel to lay out for free. This resort beach is quite picturesque though, and a beautiful place to relax in the sun. Further down the trail is Lone Beach. We're at Lone Bay now, and this place is really beautiful. We just took a walk and came here. Today, the wind is very nice. The waves are very quiet. It just makes you want to relax. I just had a nice lunch, so it's wonderful. Beach chair rentals are also much more affordable here at 45 kuna per person, or about 650 USD. If you like nature trails, then you would love the Golden Cape Forest Park. It has many trails lined with tall cedar and cypress trees on the interior trails and lovely seaside views on the exterior trails. You can walk the trails like we did or rent a bicycle to see everything quite quickly. So these beaches and this nature trail are only a 20 to 25 minute walk outside the center of Rovi. This park also has rock climbing for all you adventure seekers out there. So now I'm back at our apartment, just relaxing with a glass of wine and enjoying our balcony view. A nice way to wind down after just a full day of exploring the city. So now I'll show you around our most comfortable accommodations yet. These sofas and chairs were so comfy. We were so glad we were able to stay here seven days to really rest and recuperate. And for 49 euro a night, or about 52 US dollars a night, we felt for the quality, it was worth every penny. Up next, we're heading to Pula. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified when we post our next video. That's our journey though. Good luck planning yours. If you want even more Croatian travel ideas, check out our full Croatia playlist from the beginning at the top there. As always, thanks so much for watching and happy travel planning. Until next time.